What would happen if you took one million snowballs and threw it as hard as you could at planet Earth? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to Solar Smash. So the game just got a huge new update, and today we're checking out some of the new stuff. So the first thing you guys told me to do was go over to System Smash. This got a big update. Also, if you guys want to see more Solar Smash on the channel, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe right now. So the first thing you guys told me to do in System Smash was zoom in. No, no Br Brandon, zoom up. Uh, uh, Zoom in, Brandon. Oh my gosh, I spawned in a black hole. It's destroying the sun. Everything is going terribly. This is, uh, you know what? I'm just going to restart the, the, the solar system. Bam. Okay. Everything is back to normal. You guys, <laughs> this is going so badly. You guys told me to spawn in a ton of black holes, and apparently now you can make a super massive black hole and get an achievement. I don't know. Let's minimize that. So let's put them right here. I don't know. Uh, black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole, black hole. Are they getting bigger? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's starting to work. It's starting to work. No, don't blow up the sun. Whatever you do, don't blow up the sun. Don't do it. Okay, I did it. Hey, super massive black hole. Okay, that was kind of a boring achievement, but I, I did get it. Here's the next thing I want to do. So if I grab the sun, I'm pretty sure I can yeet it out of the solar system. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to pause. Okay, right now our solar system has no solar. It, it's, it's just a system. So what I want to do, I want to replace the sun with Jupiter and see if the solar system can still survive. So let's go down here. I want to go to Jupiter and I'm going to go right in the middle. Pop. Okay, it's not exactly centered, but ah, that should be fine. So now I'm going to go three, two, one, play. Oh, no, 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 no. Mercury's gone. Venus is gone. Earth and moon. Wait, wait, let's speed things up a little bit. What's going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Jupiter, you're doing a terrible job. Jupiter. Oh, okay. You know what? Jupiter has wanted to be a sun its entire life. Well, it just proved that it's a it's a terrible sun. Look at this. The entire solar system's just empty. Okay, we're going to go back to Planet Smash. If there's something you want me to do in Solar Smash or, or System Smash, let me know in the comments. This is what we're going to do now. You guys told me to go over to the Planetary Destroying Laser Man and actually make him as weak as possible. You guys told me that if I make him a 0.5, it won't completely destroy the sun or, or won't completely destroy the planet. So let's aim right for my house in Philadelphia. We're going to speed things up. Planetary destroying laser man as weak as it gets. And you guys lied to me again. One of the big parts of the update was the healing nuke. You can actually see it at the top of the screen. I have 10 of them left. So what I want to do, I want to see how much I can destroy planet earth and still bring it all back to life. Let's do a, let's hit it with the moon. Let's hit it with a meteor shower over here. Beautiful. And then the world's biggest lightning storm there. And while we're at it, let's spawn a black hole over there. Okay. Right now, planet Earth is going through a lot. It's... Oh. Well, that wasn't enough. I wanted to destroy everybody. Okay. Let's throw another moon right there. Another lightning storm here. And, um, I don't know. Let's go Gauss Cannon. Gauss Cannon, strongest weapon in the game. Bam. Oh, jeez. Okay. Everybody's dead. That's exactly what I wanted. Not in real life, but in Solar Smash. Okay, now what we're gonna... Oh my gosh, that is not good. That is not good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start spawning in these brand new healing nukes, which basically bring things back to life. But I might have destroyed planet Earth way too much. Look at this. Okay, you can see planet Earth is actually starting to regrow. Oh my gosh, wait, that was one nuke. That was one healing nuke. Look at that. Two billion people have already come back to life. Look at the planet. It might only take a couple. Okay, we're going to do one there and one there. I want to see if I can bring everybody back to life. Keep in mind, I killed all seven and a half billion people on planet Earth. And right now they are coming back fast. And they are angry, by the way. <laughs> this would be a bad thing to do in real life. If I killed everybody and then brought them back to life, they're going to want to kill me. Okay. Five billion people back to life. Five billion people back to life. Okay, let's shoot one there. Oh, this is a big spot right there. Right there. Okay. Beautiful. 
Oh my gosh. Keep in mind, Planet Earth was absolutely uh, uh, clobbered. It was mollywopped. It was destroyed. And now look at this. Almost everybody's back. Almost everybody's back. Look at that at the bottom. There's 300 million people that are still dead. So let's see. Where are we missing? It's a little dark over here, but I think that might be the spot. I think that might be the spot that I missed. At least I think so. The, the, the South Pole looks a little destroyed, but I don't think anybody lives there anyway. Come on. Come on, people. Come back to life. Come back to life. We've got almost everybody back. 60 million, 30 million, 20 million, 10 million. Yeah! We literally destroyed the entire planet and then brought it back to life. That is absolutely incredible. It looks like I kind of missed a spot over here in Mexico, but um, we're, we're just going to ignore that for now. Okay, the next thing I have on my post-it note from you guys. You guys said to go over to Boreas, which I think is one of the newer planets. Where's Boreas? Boreas, Boreas. Here it is, Boreas. Oh, by the way, Perchta over here. Brand new. We actually checked it out in the last Solar Smash video, so go over there if you haven't seen it. So let's go over here to Boreas. Whoa, Boreas has a blue sun. That's actually really cool. So somebody told me in the comment section that if I fire the healing nuke at Boreas, something cool happens. I don't know what it is, but we're about to try it. Maybe you guys were trolling me again. I don't know. Three, two, one, fire. Okay, this is the healing nuke. Nobody lives on Boreas anyway, so it, it's... Whoa! Okay, you guys were not trolling me. So Boreas was a frozen planet, and right now I'm bringing it back to life. That is so amazing. Thank you guys so much for helping me in the comments. If it wasn't for you guys, I would never know what to do in Solar Smash, which, by the way, keep giving me more ideas because I want to play more Solar Smash. Did we bring the whole planet back? No, no. So this side is still frozen. I want to see if I bring the entire planet back to life, will we start to see the population going up? I don't know, because right now it says zero out of zero. I don't think anybody ever lived on Boreas. No, 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 nobody lives here. But I just want to see if I bring the entire planet back. Maybe I'll get like an achievement or something. I don't know. I only have two of these healing nukes left, though. What happens when I run out of healing nukes? I actually don't know. Oh, I have to watch an advertisement. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. We're going to bring all of Boreas back to life. See what happens. It's not letting me watch an advertisement to get more healing nukes. Look at this. If I click healing nukes, it says watch advertisement for 15 seconds. Bam! I click it. Nothing happens. All right. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to bring all of Boreas back to life, but we brought like 90% of it back to life. This was really cool. This was a fun little Easter egg. Now I just want to see what's inside Boreas. Like now that I brought it back to life, is the core still frozen? I don't know. Here we go. We are cutting Boreas in half. This looks so cool. See, if, if Boreas was always kind of boring for me because it was always like just frozen. But now that we can bring it back to life, this is amazing. Oh, this gives me another idea. What if we try to bring the snowman back to life? Like, if I hit the snowman with the healing nukes, is he, is he going to start, like, walking around like Frosty the snowman? I don't know. Okay, so Boreas still has a frozen core. I have to find a way to get more of these healing nukes because this is way too cool. Get it? Cool? Because it's a frozen planet? It wasn't that funny. Let's let's move on to the next thing. Okay, I was able to get 15 more of the healing nukes. Don't ask me how many advertisements I watched. Okay, actually, it gives you 15 after one advertisement. I'm just excited. So let's go over to the unknown systems. Let's go to snowman. Can I bring this snowman back to life? I, I doubt it, but maybe? Here we go. Healing nuke. We're going to go for the body and one for the face. Come on. Come on, something's gotta happen. No, I just wasted two of my healing nukes. I really thought maybe the snowman would start dancing around. Maybe it would start singing Frosty the Snowman. Maybe I would have just melted the snowman, which would have killed him. But nope, 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 doesn't look like it works. Okay, before I do the final big thing, I just want to blow up Frosty the Snowman. Let's go Planetary Destroying Laser Man. This one, we're going to make him as strong as possible. We're going to make him pink because why not? Let's speed things up. And three, two, one. Frosty the Snowman doesn't exist anymore because Frosty the Snowman is dead. How's that for a Christmas 
miracle. So one of the brand new weapons in Solar Smash from the update was the snowball. So somebody told me to cover the entire planet Earth with snowballs and see if I can kill everybody, which sounds really bad now that I think of it. But remember, this is a video game. It's not real life. So I want to see what happens if I throw one million snowballs at planet Earth. Can I freeze the planet? Can I can I turn planet Earth into just a giant cube of ice? I'm not sure, but we're about to find out. I'm going to aim right for the middle of the country. I don't know. What would that be like? Oklahoma? I don't know. What's the state right above Texas and Colorado area? I don't know. I'm very bad at geography. Three, two, one, go. Okay, that was like the most anticlimactic thing ever. What? I killed 230 million people? Okay, that is the most deadly snowball in the history of snowballs. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's start throwing. Again, I am going to throw one million snowballs at planet Earth. I just want to see if I can freeze the entire planet. This is going to take a long, long time. I'm freezing South America right now, which I know I said last time it is normally not cold, but now it is. Now it's covered in snow. We're going to go for Africa, which is also normally a fairly warm continent. Let's freeze India because I know India is very warm. Also, China, the Philippines, Russia, Saudi Arabia. I'm freezing the entire planet. So far, I've killed 6.9 billion people. There's only 835 million people left, and, it, and it's probably Canada because they're used to the snow. They got they got hit with a deadly snowball. They started laughing. Okay, there are 53 million people left that are just hiding from me. I, I don't know where they are. Maybe they've dug themselves underground and are hiding from my giant... Oh, it was Australia. I always forget about Australia. 27 million people... 20 million, and there we go. Okay, I have officially turned planet Earth into a giant snowball. Everybody is dead. Now I want to hit it with the healing uh, nuke and see if I can bring everyone back to life. Look at this. I don't know if you guys know what planet Earth looks like. You probably should because you live on planet Earth. This is not what it should look like. No, no, the planets are not all frozen. Okay, let's see what happens if I start hitting it with the healing nuke. Come on, baby. Come on, I'm aiming for Africa first. I'm going to bring Africa back to life. Look at this. Look at the ice melting in a circular pattern. Everybody's coming back to life. This is so amazing. I just brought Africa and Europe back to life with one nuke. Let's hit um, the United States. Let hit, let's hit South America. Let's go with uh, fine. I'll save Australia. And then we're going to go for Asia over there. This might bring everybody back to life. Let's speed things up a little bit. And yes. Once again, destroyed the entire planet with a million snowballs, brought everybody back to life. Don't forget to hit that subscriber button and check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video.